Hello friends, it's Carla here and today we are going to put together the Poppy Stamps Country Barn pop-up easel die set. It's a really cute die that has everything in it to uh, make this really great barn that will pop up into an easel card and I'm going to show you how to put it together and what all the pieces are for. This is one of the sets we're using today. It's a really cute mama elephant stackable cuties. And then we've got a picket fence sentiment set. And I will link the products below to the Scrap Shot store. I did this in a live video on the Scrap Shots pa Facebook page. And I'll link that too if you want to see uh, anything else we looked at that day. I made a few of these barns and here's another look at a Christmas themed barn and I'm actually using the cute Mama Elephant Toasty Friends. It's really great stamp set that has some nice sentiments in it and is really cute for winter or Christmas. And I made the door to open so you could see this little chick and her baby sitting inside and everybody's having their hot cocoa. And then I made another one with uh, some gold trim. I thought this would be a really great barn that uh, you could really have fun with adding gold elements, maybe uh, unicorns and fun things like that. So here's the die set. It comes fully um, complete on a magnetic sheet. Everything is um, separate from the other dies so you don't have to take anything apart. And this large die here is going to be your card base and I've cut that out of white and it creates a score line at the top and then a score line right across here where your uh, next piece is going to fit on. This is the next piece here, your next layer, and I've cut that out of a cream colored cardstock and it's just gonna fit on with a little bit of a border and then we'll be able to put on our barn over top. So I I'm going to add some glue and you only want to add glue right on this little edge underneath the fold. So I'm just adding the fold so you can see and you're going to add your glue or your score tape there and then just centering your cream colored piece here, your top of your card, you're going to lay that down and let it dry. So here is the die that creates the barn with the openings for the door and the windows. And you can see you do get a little bit of the uh, scored dimension for those barn boards, but we're going to accentuate that by using uh, a little uh, embossing mat here that I have for my Cricut. You can get them for your different cutting machines. But by running that through, it creates a lot of dimension for that barn element for those boards. So really liked using that with it. Here is a look at the window dies. You have two different options for each of the windows. So either diagonal or the straight up and down across. And you can choose and customize. And there's a look at the uh, window that goes across as well as the barn door. And then you have the pieces that go on the top, the trim, and on the sides. So I've cut all my windows and trim in the same color and you could certainly mix and match those. I'm adding on the top piece of the roof there and then I'm adding on the side piece of trim, but really that long strip should go on first. So you'll see that I adjusted a little bit to add the long strip just because it tucks underneath that trim. So it's easier if you put that on first and then add your side trim pieces. But I was easily able to just uh, fit it in there. So that was okay. And then we're adding on the other side of the trim and you just put them on. Uh, you'll see a little scored edge and you can just fit them on there and then you're gonna add your windows in and you only need to add the glue right around the very edge because it's just gonna stick around the edge. 
and I'm taking my window and cutting out the inside of it because I want to add my little animal there and I want him kind of peeking out and I don't want the window panes in the way. So you can decide either way. They look really great, just depending on if you're putting something behind there and how you feel like it looks. I'm using some Art Institute glitter glue. It's a really great liquid glue and I love using it. I cut some grass here and I'm going to add a little bit of shading with the Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide Ink. And the grass dye was cut with the Mama Elephant Slimline dye set. There's a few different die sets that they have for the slim lines and you can kind of mix and match them. And this one had the grass that I felt really worked well. I just trimmed it off to fit and put it on there after I added the door. So you can really have fun with adding different elements behind those windows. You can change up the trim and the color you don't need grass on there or you could just do some hills of grass um, and you could either glue this on flat or I chose to add a little bit of foam tape to give it some dimension and then you just stick it right onto that cream color base and that is the top of your card. So here's a look at the little animals that were coloring from the stackable cuties and I'm just going to add a little sentiment here stamped with that rustic wilderness distress oxide and the picket fence fancy sentiments. And I'm just going to add a little bit of sponging around the edge to give it a little bit of dark area around there. And then I actually stamped the little speech bubble that comes with that stackable cuties. And I'm just hand cutting that out and we're going to add a little bit of foam tape and add that onto our background in a minute. So here is the cute little pig and I'm just showing the colors as I color him in. He's going to be a pink pig and you could also do a peach color or if there's a different pink combination you could do that as well. And just adding some dark areas around the edge and then I add my medium color over top of the dark and pull that in a little bit and then we'll add in our middle color or our lightest color in the center. So I really like these three colors to do a really pink look. They're kind of my go-to Copic colors. And I don't worry too much about where my um, highlight and shading is, just that I do have some highlight and shading. And the same thing with this cute little kitty. We're going to do him in a gray color. So I'm adding the darker of the gray colors that I chose and just doing the edges of him. He's holding a little fish here, which is very cute. There's lots of really cute animals in this set. Uh, I thought that the uh, cat and the pig worked well for the barn, but there's lots of really adorable animals. And I was actually quite surprised. I looked through my stamps, um, my lawn fawn and all the different stamps that I had. And I actually had quite a few that would work with this barn. So any kind of farm animals or you could even do little, the little lawn fawn mice would look really cute. Um, you could do little unicorns would be really cute with that barn that I showed you with the gold. Um, or that could even be a wedding themed barn if you had a country wedding that you wanted to give a congratulations card to. Someone that's having one of the weddings that are a really rustic themed. So I think there's lots of ways that you could go for decorating these. And um, I had fun combining different colors and color combinations. I'm adding a little bit of green onto the fish. The fish doesn't really show too much um, here because I'm tucking them in the window, but I added a little bit of Stardust gel pen 
and then colored in the little feet on the pig to be dark. So they colored up quite quickly. I added a little bit of foam tape so I could pop him in behind the window and then put the little hug speech bubble on him or just above him. And it just gives it a bit of dimension there. And then the little pig just goes to the left. This just fits in a regular A2 size envelope. And I have a black jelly roll gel pen and especially on that gray cat that's a little bit dark it's really nice to add in the details with the black gel pen and it just kind of makes their features pop so I added it onto the eyes and nose and the little whiskers and you just get a really nice dark image for those facial features and there you can see it nice and close up and we're gonna give him some little rosy cheeks just by adding a little bit of pink there on each side with the pink marker because I think little animals always need some rosy cheeks, even this pink little pig. And then I grabbed my white Jelly Roll gel pen. This is a number 10 and I'm just adding one little dot to each of the cheeks and a little bit of highlights there. Now I'm going to put on the sentiment and I'm going to use it as a little bit of a prop for the easel card. So it's going to be right at the bottom. And because it's the same color as that grass, it almost looks like an extension of the grass and kind of looks like that little pig is sitting on the grass. So it's really quick and easy, a lot of fun to put together and you can use these I think for any occasion and really have fun decorating them and coloring up some animal stamps and just have fun putting these together. I will link the products in the shop below as well as the live if you want to check out the full video and here's a look at that Christmas card that has the little opening in the door and the little chick peeking out so I hope you had fun watching. If you would like to li like and subscribe, I would love that and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. Thanks. Bye-bye.